Hey everyone, so over time I have gotten a lot of comments on my avatar and what it looks like and I thought it'd be a fun idea to make a video on how and why my avatar looks like that. So let's go all the way back to when I joined Roblox. And I'm actually pretty excited about this one because, I don't know, it's just so nostalgic for me to go back in time and go over why my avatar looks like that. There's a pretty simple explanation but it goes a bit under the surface so keep watching to find out more about me, my secrets as to why my character looks like that. So before I started YouTube, I had the muscles already because I thought that was the only cool looking avatar in Roblox and I just bought the superhero packet so I, I did that. I also created some shirts. So I uploaded quite a few things just to try out stuff. For example, uh, this was one of my favorites ever. I probably wore that for a year. So I joined Bloxburg or Roblox at least in 2015. I just downloaded a bat e image and added that on it. And I probably wore that for like a year or something. I uploaded that in 2016. So yes, it could be close to a year. Then I also had like super dry and Keith Haring collections that I wanted to make. I did have a Keith Haring shirt in real life that looked exactly like this one. And I wanted to recreate it <laughs> in Roblox. So I uploaded that and wore it for a bit. <laughs> I thought it turned out so cool. And then I had some weird moments as well where I created a shirt with a hole in the, <laughs> in the stomach that had your belly button pop out for some weird reason. I thought that was so cool. Then I had my dollar shirt, which 32 people bought for some reason. Oh, this one I wore a very long time as well. I loved that, that shirt for real. Um, Let me try it on actually. I, I want to see what I look with it. Okay, yeah. That was definitely what I looked like before I started YouTube with the shirt on. I really loved that one. I was so proud of it. Okay, so I did wear that combined with the other shirts that I made. But yeah, probably this and a palm tree shirt I wore the most. Then I have some art, some nightshade. That's when I fully started learning Photoshop. Then I wanted to play into the hype of Pokemon Go. So I just slapped a logo onto a blank shirt and I sold that. It actually sold 165 times. So that was quite good. We're still not in the YouTube situation. Oh, and I did want to make some Halloween shirts. I actually had the goal of creating like my own store, but the blood looks so bad though. So yeah, I do have a lot of stores here. And then we go on to when I started YouTube. Actually, the first shirt I created for my YouTube channel was the Valentine shirt right here with a part of Cupid coming out of the shirt for some weird reason, but this is my favorite color. So I used that to make a shirt. And then we had the logo shirt and that's when I fully started getting into YouTube. Now I already had the muscle man character, as I said, which is quite hard to wear shirts on because everything bends and there's a lot of like folds in your body and stuff like that. But this is what I I looked like when I just started YouTube. And then I started creating videos, which are luckily all private now. So I did have some videos on Row Citizens. And then I started the little house thingies where I went more expensive and more expensive. But then this is when the grandma era started of me getting into a grandma style because I just bought the curlers. I was still very poor on Robux and the curlers was something that I thought was funny. So I got that. And as you can see, I had these really weird thumbnails. That's like me trying to be good at Photoshop. But yeah, that's when I started the curler. So that was all the way back in January 2017 when I started uploading. So granny versus 1000 degree knife. I thought I would get like a million views that thumbnail and stuff like that. And now I look at it in embarrassment. So yeah, we all start somewhere. But uh, my videos were all called granny something granny. I don't know, just like granny stuff. I even had the granny face if you look at it like that. But uh, definitely I tried a lot of things. Then I went back into like the cute muscle man kind of thingy. And that's because I'm a softie. So the muscle always, or the superhero pack, it always felt like something where I can present myself more manly no matter what I wear. Because in real life, I always question my masculinity and now I don't anymore. I'm just like, whatever, if people think I'm feminine, then I am feminine and I'm not even gonna change their opinion on it. It's just a label and whatever you wanna label me, you can label me. Uh, I don't really care about that. I'm a he and I see myself as a he, but if you don't see that, then that's your problem, I guess. So yeah, anyways, back to the muscle pack. I thought if I were that, I would look manly no matter what. So I just added some cute accessories onto that. And then I started reading a book that said you need something on your YouTube channel that is recognizable and that is only for you. And I saw in my comments back then, <laughs> we're still in 2017, gosh. And I saw in my comments back then a lot of comments about the curlers. So at one point, I actually need to look for it because I wore that outfit for a very long time. But I need to look for it. I 
then it changed back to the curlers because I was like, okay, I do want that to be my trademark. I think it's something funny and you can combine it with a lot. So going back to my avatar, Bramp 2019, I had it before 2019. This is when I started to wear the curlers and I was still a bit shy to make videos. I was still a bit shy to present myself as how I really am and that I'm not 100% masculine or that I'm not really like, I don't know, just like your average dude, you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wear curlers just to show my soft side a little bit and this will help. And then I just got to this hot mess of curlers and a shirt and the superhero package. And it kind of looked like a hot mess of whatever. And that's when I decided to be like, okay, I just should be myself. So I'm gonna keep whatever I have, but I'm gonna go extreme. And this is the first Christmas that I truly went full out. And I started adding some hair, layering some hair. I only found out you could layer hair a year and a half ago. So I started doing that. I just liked how it looked. I don't really care about gender items to clothes. So I was like, okay, people start calling me out for wearing skirts and I'm a man. And I started like, is it a he or is it a she? I'm like, okay, you know what? Whatever people think, I'm just gonna go full out. I'm just gonna wear everything cute that I like. This is Robux. I can, I can wear whatever I want. If it's not real life, well, what does it matter, you know? And even if it was real life, what does it matter? But I'm just too shy to, for example, color my hair. I've been thinking about coloring my hair pink for forever now, but really the end of 2019, beginning of 2020 was really when I got to the point where I was like, Okay, I can just be myself. This is my channel. If people don't want to watch it, they won't watch my channel. And if people watch it and are offended by what I'm wearing, then they weren't meant for this channel anyway. So bye bye to you. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. And I just started layering stuff because I thought, okay, I was wearing this for, I don't know, about two years now or, or almost three years. I was like, okay, this bald spot right on my head <laughs> looks a little bit weird. So I'm going to start layering some hairs on top of that. So again, I went full out with the layering. I think I have like three different, I have four different hairs here. I was like, okay, I kind of like how this looks. This is very recognizable as well. And this is how I want to present myself. A little bit chaotic, but also very planned out. I don't know, just like that look. And then I started wearing or making my shirts towards how I felt and how I looked as well. So I just went full out with those as well with the scram on it. This is my I Survived 2020 shirt. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do something that I like and not what other people might like or might not like. Cause that's what I did at the beginning of my channel as well. I was like, okay, I'm I'm not gonna go all out. I'm just gonna be careful with what I wear, what I say, and just gonna be careful with how people see me and pursue me. But at one point it just kind of clicked and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do me. And I'm just gonna be fully transparent with you guys about how I feel, how I am. So the reason I have this muscly pack was because I wanted to present myself more manly. And no matter what I wore, I would still look manly, but I started liking the superhero pack after all. So I just decided to keep it with the curlers, of course, but I don't really mind putting on makeup on my character, having a full beard on it while wearing makeup. I really don't care as long as I like it and I look happy or I feel happy with what my character looks like. I can still present it to the man, you know? So this is what I want it to look like. This is what I still want to look like to today. So I am going to keep that for now. My pride outfit was full out as well, because if you are going to offend some people, you could as well 100% offend them. And I 100% just equality and people having the same rights and no matter how you are born, if you are born trans, no religion should ever tell you to not be trans and if you are going to use your religion to actually stop people from loving who they love, then you should also never wear mixed fabrics, never have a toilet in your house because that's what the Bible says as well. And don't come at me with the Bible as an interpretation. That means you choose to be homophobic and not the Bible. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go full out. That was my little rant. Um, I'm gonna go full out. I have nothing against religion, by the way. I have something against people using certain aspects of religion to hide behind and then ignore other things about that religion. I have so much against that, but there are a lot of people who are good and who actually follow religion. So I'm not against religion. I'm against some people abusing it. That's that's my main point on it. But so the reason my character looks like this is just because I decided to go full out and wear whatever I like. And if I like a combination, I'm going to wear that. I loved this hair combined with a shirt and I was like, okay, whatever. I'm going to wear a weave and now I have a weave. So <laughs> 
I am happy with that. <laughs> and basically this video just is me trying to explain to you that people will always judge you no matter what you wear, what you look like, and you could as well be judged for being fully you or be judged for being half the you that you present to other people. So that's my take on it and just be you, you know, just have fun. It is a game. If you want to do it in real life, you are so brave for taking a risk and doing it, like honestly, and I support you doing it. So uh, you are amazing. And that was basically how my character turned out to look like this. I absolutely love it and I hope you love it too. And if you don't, well, I'm sorry, I'm not going to change it. That was it for today, guys. I really hope this helped explain my situation to you and how my character turned out like that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.